How's it going, guys? I brought this into the 3D Builder so you can see the two different stack designs and how the flow is going to be inside of the linear comp. If you can see here, there's two different stacks. One of the first baffles is going to have the holes in the bottom part or portion of the K cup. So this way, when the gases release from the barrel, they get trapped in between here and the wall of the linear comp. And then it's going to go up into these. These are double stack baffles. Uh, so the reason that they have such a thick wall is because there's two um, cones built inside these. I created this in uh, 360 and I will show you a clip right here how I created these and then gave them their their ports and once I do the 3d cut you'll be able to see exactly what they look like in between each layer so there was the the quick sketch of how I made these and then I 3d printed them on my SLA printer and I'll show you what they look like once they're done I had a few failures um, some of them didn't print very well some of them had a lot of resin that cured on the in between the the double stack baffles so there was a lot of um imperfections in those so i finally got a really good print and here goes so here's the other k-cup that i created this one's going to have more of a domed or concaved area at the bottom with a air cut out so the air would dispel from there and come up through this hole and get trapped in here as you can see at the bottom of this K-cup, this has a concaved area where the air will hit and swirl back down and around inside the first chamber. And some of it will escape through that hole or notch there into this opening on the side of the K-cup and get trapped in between here and the wall of the linear comp. So let's go ahead and do a 3D slice. And this is what it will look like. So this is a split view of what it would look like inside the chamber. So if you can see on this one, the air or the gases will get pushed up here, spiral down inside the first chamber of the linear comp. And then some of the gases will get expelled here and get captured into this hole, which will which will spread around the size of the K-cup and the the wall of the comp. And then once it gets, once the bullet travels through here, more gases will go up, do the same thing, circulate down here, get expelled through this hole. And if you can see here, there's the double chamber I was talking about. This is one of the double stack baffles that I created. So it'll come up here, get expelled, circulate, you get trapped into this one, and get expelled down into here. So this way, it doesn't cause too much turbulence. And then so on and so forth. So you can see that it's only going to be a triple stack uh, comp. But by creating a double cone, I actually doubled how many cones are inside. So... Hopefully it will help with suppression. Um, I heard the more baffles the better. So seeing that we're limited on space, uh, I went ahead and tried something different. Oh, sorry. It's early in the morning. Uh, decided to create a video just for you guys. So here's the second baffle. Or I guess third design. Where the gas is to get up into here, go through the holes, circulate inside the cavity here and the wall, and then come up, circulate back down. So I went with, I guess you call this a clipped slash mouse hole design because if you clip 
your baffles, you'll have better suppression of the sound. And but the I think the only thing is that I read was you'll lose accuracy. And that's why I went with this mouse hole clip design up here. They're not clipped right here. It's clipped some mouse holes for ventilation. So the gases don't try to go up all through here. If I had a program to test the, I guess, wind velocities or turbulence and stuff like that, I totally would and show you guys the video, but I don't have that program. And the Fusion 360 I have is free, so I'm not going to spend $400 or $500, whatever it is, on the full one simulator that they have, I believe. This is what I got. Um, I did print some out. These I've had a, a few print failures just because I had resin here curing on the first design where these were a lot closer. I think it was only like a mil or two in between. So I spaced these out to about five mils gapping to help with uh, printing. And uh, I will show you guys that here right now. How's it going guys? Here is what I have so far as far as the 3D prints. You can see the double baffling that I created in the sketch on Fusion 360. You can see how some of it, that's that double baffle. So these two are going to go up top in the linear comp. This is going to be one of the designs that's going to have the holes in the bottom of the cup to trap the gases inside the funnel area and help delay the, the expansion of them. And here goes the other design that I showed you in 3D Builder. This is the one I also created. And this is how it's going to stack up. So you're going to have your big empty chamber right here. And then you're going to have, we'll say this one. Put that one in first. That one's going to be held down by the lip of the next um, spacer. And then you're going to have this one. And you're gonna get it in just like that. You can put your other spacer up top of that. Yes, I am doing this all one handed. one up top and then you're gonna put your top cap on and then all your baffles in there and that is going to be the build so now that I know everything fits 
we can move on to the casting portion. I'll make another video on the casting and then I will post that after I get it done. It should be another week or two. I have to get with my wife and see if she could put these on a tree for me. And then once she puts them on a tree, I'll film a little bit of that and I'll add it into the casting video. So let me know what you guys think so far. So, all right guys, let me know what you guys think so far of what's going on, how I'm doing. Uh, if you guys have any questions or input, please let me know and we can move on from there. All right guys, Quick take care. Of a mag dump that I lost the audio for. So I'm gonna go ahead, be your audio. Here I go.